Ja, hallo und einen wunderschönen Good morning and um, welcome. Good morning. Uh, wherever you may be in the world with the different time zones. It may not be in the morning, but it's in the morning here in Germany. Welcome to the third World Congress of um, Bioresonance, according to Paul Schmidt. Online this time, my name is Dieter Heines. I am uh, the general manager of Ryonex, and uh, we are developing uh, the procedures of according to Paul Schmidt, uh, or has been doing so for the last 27 years. My name is uh, Gudrun Bunkenberg, um, and I'm responsible for biomedical support. I've been doing that for the last uh, 20 years. I started uh, uh, with um, the first devices we had, and now we are developing the latest ones. I'm very glad that we can organize the World Congress online this time. This Congress is a cooperation with the Association for the um, Promotion of um, uh, Swinging Medicine or the Radiation uh, Wave Medicine. And we are very glad about the fact that Dietmar Mandela, who is responsible for this um, branch, is going to give us a few introductory words now. Good morning and welcome. I'd like to welcome you in the framework of the cooperation of uh, the uh, Federation of uh, Swinging and Radiation Mates Medicine. My name is Dieter Mandela. I've been in the um, board of the in this uh, association for many years. Well, since we had to cancel our Congress in 2020, we had a lot of problems. Some um, things had to be stopped. Um, uh, temporarily, but uh, we were looking forward to this Congress um, online. Maybe next year in 2022, it will be possible to meet again, physically again. That would be great. Now, I'm extremely glad about the fact that so many people have uh, managed to get together online and uh, that we can actually um, uh, start the Congress and have it organized. We wish you a lot of new pieces of knowledge so that we can continue working with bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt. So thank you very much. And I hope you're going to have a very informative meeting this today. Thank you very much indeed to you, Mr. Mandela, for these welcoming words in the framework of the third um, Congress of bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt. Now, yesterday, uh, we had the member, uh, the members meeting. Mrs. Affebel is the new chair. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to express our uh, um, gratitude and um, congratulations. And Mr. Schmieding is the new um, treasurer. So we're going to, we assigned and we nominated new people in different positions. So congratulations. Well, this uh, third Congress is a Congress of superlatives, if I may say so, because usually we had in the past uh, 200 people on, uh, at a Congress, but this time we have 1,250 uh, 1, registered uh, participants. That's an incredible result. Well, I am overwhelmed. On the one hand, we haven't been able to meet uh, physically, but on the other hand, online, we can reach much more, many more people, and that's a new opportunity. So it's a technical miracle, if we can say. Now, if we look um, at the technical equipment uh, I see in front of me, I imagine that we have uh, three languages. We have uh, four simultaneous interpreters, and you can choose the languages you would like to listen to at the same time. And uh, we are going to explain a few things further on. But it's also a Congress uh, under the Corona conditions. And it's a matter of course that we have taken all the safety and uh, health measures, uh, even those people who are here, um, the whole Congress team have been tested with uh, PCR tests and um, 
we all have we have we have taken all the measures and actions necessary in order to make sure that we are disinfected and we are also going to disinfect the desk in a minute once uh, different people are going to join us here on um, stage at the desk as far as the organization is concerned you have the uh, opportunity to choose the language you want to listen to and um, Uh, you have to click on the globe at the bottom and then you can choose between English, German and Italian. These are our languages today. So this is a possibility with which we try to make people understand um, the Congress if they don't speak German. We are going to try to speak as slowly as possible in the interest of the interpreters. That makes it easier for them. But also in order to convey um, the different messages. Of course, it's always a temptation to speak too fast when you get too enthusiastic uh, about whatever you're talking about. All right, then. Um, then you can also use um, the mobile phone. And you can also get into the Congress there and you can also choose the languages of the interpretation on your cellular uh, mobile phone. So at least uh, this is something which um, we have explained. We have also a technical support team in the background. Thank you very much to those people. Uh, just in case, if you had any difficulties when it comes to registering or logging into the um, platform, or if you found, don't find the languages or have any technical uh, questions, please write us an email or you just phone one of these telephone numbers you can see on the screen now, but if it's too fast, but if you don't have anything to write just now, just take a picture or a screenshot, then you would have it available later on. All right, then another um, organizational matter. We would like to be as interactive as possible. Uh, during that World Congress, and therefore um, we have a question and answer session. And we thought we would proceed the following way. During the presentations, you can already ask questions on the chat. We're going to gather, we're going to collect these questions. So after uh, the presentations, uh, questions can already be uh, asked. So uh, this way it would be smooth, smoothly. So I hope that after the presentation, we already have received questions and we can ask them. But you have to ask questions yourself on the chat. Please send us your questions um, during the presentation. That would be very useful. So we can ask them orally to the speakers afterwards. But on the other hand, we have uh, more than 1,200 people who uh, have locked in themselves uh, from all over the world. So if everyone asked two questions, we would have 2,400 questions. It would be impossible to answer all these questions. Uh, so we have to uh, limit ourselves to just a few, because otherwise the Congress would last uh, for too long. On the other hand, we are going to make all the presentations and the slides available after the Congress so you can still read them through. So now we're coming to the uh, program and the agenda. I'm going to give you a general overview. We have a lot of uh, uh, very uh, intense uh, agenda. We're going to start with, at 9.30 with uh, Mrs. Kirsten Peuschel. She is uh, responsible, she's the manager for the Paul Schmidt Clinic, and she's a specialist for pain medicine. So she's going to give us an overview about chronic uh, the pain. She's going to explain what it means, how can you treat it. It's a perfect uh, uh, presentation as an introduction for today's uh, topic. Now, if we stick to the time at 10.25, we're going to come to Mrs. Karen Schussmann, who is the manager of the Bioenergy Thera Therapeutical Center in Milbeck, and her husband, Dr. Medical Axel Schussmann. Well, they carried out a study 
and they're going to give us their result of the study they carried out. So that is going to be very interesting. Then uh, at 11.20, we are going to come to Dr. Hans Werner Foss, who is a clinical trial specialist, uh, director of clinical operations at Kopman. I think I couldn't imagine a better speaker. Uh, here we can ha ask him, um, what was your experience like? So we have an experienced uh, expert here. Then we are going to have a lunch break at quarter past 12. We certainly need a certain space to eat something, to drink something, and uh, to uh, relax for a, a short time. That's very important. And then hopefully uh, that you will all be back uh, very alert at the quarter past, past one, because then we're going to go to Malaysia, Dr. Tan is going to talk to us. He's a user, um, uh, he has applied our bioresonance uh, facilities and um, uh, appliances for a long time. He's going to tell us something about uh, pains and also for infectants. And then we're going to go to El Salvador, uh, probably at uh, 1410 with Dr. Kenneth Hernandez-Taylor. Um, we're going to be um, at the capital, El Salvador. He is a medical doctor who has been uh, cooperating with us for a long time. And, uh, and he is going to give a very interesting and thrilling presentation. And uh, then without any further break or smoking or coffee, we're going to go to the north of Europe at uh, four uh, three o'clock. And here, Johanna Scholtisek is going to talk to us. She's going to tell us how she uses um, the bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt. She has been an expert for many years. And I think she's going to give us a, a general overview about veterinary uh, use and application. And every, everything when, went fine. We are going to go and finish at 1600 at four o'clock. Well, I remember the last time we had a physical meeting, it was in Israel. And I remember getting to Israel airport and that was in March last year. It was like the last uh, seminars we just had before the uh, lockdown and the Corona crisis. So I hope that all this will come back sooner or later. And uh, we have always been traveling and we have always planted uh, uh, seeds. And then we realized uh, that yeah, later the group has uh, had grown and it had advanced. Uh, so we have already um, visited 45 countries and uh, have um, put them in contact with uh, bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt, just to warm up for a little time, just to make sure you get into the topic. I'd like to uh, draw your attention to the following. We have a few new people among us, people you may not have met. Just um, maybe to get them to know, I'd like to introduce them. Uh, the new Rhinex Biomedical uh, Limited company is um, a very large uh, system, not only in humanitarian medicine, but also in veterinary medicine. <laughs> So it is uh, fantastic that we have uh, this development. And the question is, well, we have uh, specific, special, extraordinary products and we want to make them known. We want uh, to uh, advertise for them. Uh, in our buildings in Germany, we um, decided on having pyramids constructed, built there. We are not in Egypt. We are in the Sauerland in Germany. So we had uh, several uh, smaller pyramids constructed there. So here, number one is the administration. The first building on the right. Number two is the Paul Schmidt Academy. Now in this academy, we are standing uh, presently, and this is where the uh, third world conference is being broadcast. And then we have um, a counseling and therapy center, which is number three. This is um, like the hub of everyone who has questions. And the, it's incredible how many people have actually um, come there and how many questions have been uh, dealt with. 
this has developed in a tremendously incredible way. It's fantastic. In the past, it didn't wasn't so easy. It, it used to be rather difficult, and now things have improved tremendously because there are many more people requesting information. We have uh, 60,000 users in Germany, and out of which there we have 5,700 uh, medical doctors and practitioners, and the system has established itself very well and is now deeply rooted. Now, uh, in the past, uh, the production was still in the pyramids and the main administration building, this count couldn't be continued because uh, things developed very fast uh, and expanded very fast. So the question arose, how can we uh, deal with that uh, success? We didn't want to separate the team to different locations. So we uh, luckily, we managed to uh, build a new manufacturing uh, plant uh, at a few hundred meters uh, off uh, the other buildings. So we uh, developed a flow. So we have the offices, uh, the production, then the production uh, site, and we have uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, distribution site where we send material or appliances. And uh, we decided to have a special design because we don't only have the claim to be cause oriented, but we also want to be CO2 neutral and want to produce our appliances CO2 neutral. So the uh, electricity uh, we need is being produced by ourselves uh, in order to uh, be able to contribute to the uh, uh, environmental protection. For those people who haven't come uh, to Germany yet to our site, please have a look at the plant. And it's, uh, it's certainly worth uh, having a look at it, to have a look at the manufacturing uh, plant, but also at the various uh, office buildings and pyramids. Um, well, unfortunately, the finishing took place uh, during the corona crisis, so we haven't uh, seen it all yet. Nobody has come there. As but this, this will happen very soon. Well, what is uh, today's Ryonex biomedical limited company like these days? We are present everywhere in North Africa, Europe and Asia. We have licensed, we have been licensed in Europe, Malaysia, Australia, South Africa, Iran, Turkey and Russia. You always need uh, licensing. Uh, we also have a licensing in the United States. Uh, uh, Russia is still open. Registering in the United States has already been initiated and we hope that the Ryocom PS10 will also be approved or by the FDA in the United States. That would be a huge step forward. But it's very important if we get, if we want to become um, a manufacturer of medical appliances rather than wellness uh, products, then uh, the uh, licensing is rather difficult, but we have to get it. We have to be recognized as a medical uh, appliance supplier because we don't want to be a wellness provider. And so our main medical uh, products uh, belong to category 2A. We have uh, about 40,000 patients per day worldwide. So there is an increasing growing interest and in growth uh, everywhere. We are an independent uh, manufacturer of bioresonance appliances. We don't have any investors or sponsors. We do exactly what we think is um, indispensable for the further development of uh, Ryonex and uh, uh, the uh, bioresonance appliances. Now let's come a step forward further as far as international acknowledgement is concerned. This is the leaflet which has become too little. Uh, we have had the leaflet translated into several languages, um, the green book, but then we also have a compendium about medical uh, procedures in the white book, harmonization procedure. And on the very right hand side, you see all the material of the uh, practitioners uh, training schools. And on the left hand side, uh, in different languages on, on the bottom, the, you have um, the published studies 
and more and more therapeutical medical doctors also feel uh, the vocation to write books themselves. And uh, the library uh, has expanded. There is more and more material about bioresonance. One of the speakers who is going to speak today has written a book herself. And uh, this means that uh, as far as the literary material is concerned, uh, we have been very successful. I know. When I started, it, oh, there, there was only the green book and it wasn't that thick, it was too thin. And sometimes people had further questions and I had to say, well, please telephone Mr. Heinz. In the meantime, there is a lot of material available. In the past, we had a Autism uh, Spectrum Congress. Utis autism is a huge field and Harald Bloomberg has developed a wonderful therapy which he complements with bioresonance according to Paul Schmidt. And here again, here you have books about it. Um, autism, how can autism partly be treated with uh, bioresonance? So that's, it's a very a little large and broad field. Just to come back to this, here we have created all the basic material at Bio Biomedical in order to be able to uh, provide a medical appliance and medical procedures. We are rather demanding. Uh, um, we have a demanding management system, which is the DIN EN ISO standard 13485. We have a yearly audit. Um, by the authorities in Germany. And this enables us to produce, to manufacture and distribute medical appliances and also to train the practitioners and medical doctors for using these medical appliances. So it's a very complex, uh, elaborate system, but it does work in an excellent manner. And we are very glad that it has been um, working and that uh, we um, are um, owners of these uh, certificates. Now let's get a step forward to the studies themselves. We are going to get closer. Um, in the alternative medicine, uh, we have to be frank, it's already a good sign and something extraordinary to be able to have a clinical <laughs> prospective double-blind randomized study, pla uh, placebo-controlled con study. It's very unusual and it's an honor that we do have it. And when we have comparative studies pl with placebo studies, this is something which the uh, medical device regulation uh, authority demands. Uh, so the standards are very high uh, because without such a study, you can't really uh, manufacture any medical appliances. So possibly speaking, we need the study. We needed it, but we have it available. It has a high degree of quality. Well, how can it work in alternative medicine? And uh, what about the effect, uh, uh, the impact on the... Uh, therapeutical practitioners on the patients, but they have a lot of time, more time than any uh, classical medical doctor. But how can we make sure that the placebo effect can be excluded? So we have a comparative study, double blind and randomized. So we built up a placebo group and a group which was really treated by our methods. And here you can see the uh, figures were on a thousand polar four medical from a serum project and the placebo. Um, on the left hand side, you see the placebo, um, the placebo um, appliances. So, the, so there have been two devices which were used in order to carry out treatment with uh, two uh, groups um, of uh, patients. Uh, placebo on, on the one hand side and uh, verum on the other side. Well, this is something very important. Within the study, there was a validated software and it's been reglemented and has been prescribed and it works according to the principle of uh, 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 coincidence a coincidence principle, which group is going to be treated by which, by, by the uh, placebo um, device or the actually uh, 
uh, by resonance device. So no one knows in advance which one is which, if it's a placebo appliance or a D um, verum device, neither do the medical doctors. So this is why it's called double blind. So not only the patients are blind, but the medical doctors and the people working there are blind as well. No one knows which is the placebo device and which is the verum device. All the following 10 uh, therapeutical interventions have been carried out with one or the other. During the implementation and the realization of the study, no one whatsoever knew which device was which, if it actually had any theoretical effect or not. Only after the uh, having carried out uh, the whole um, experiment and having evaluated it, then we knew which patient belonged to which group. So this is the way it is. Of course, you don't do uh, things, everything just uh, by coincidence. Um, because only by this double-blind randomized study, you can exclude a placebo effect. So it would just be an effect uh, based on imaginary psychological uh, causes. So this has been carried out and has been finalized. Another reason for doing this in science, the double-blind uh, randomized, randomized study, is that the patients themselves in the group, uh, when not knowing which device they're being uh, treated with, they mm, are being very careful uh, about what they say about it. Then no one wants, well, it's a, a question of what's going on in your head. No one wants to be treated with a placebo a device and then tell uh, the group that it, he, has, uh, he has tremendously improved and um, that the treatment worked really well. So it's a very complicated, difficult study. So it makes people um, talk about it carefully. And people, when they express an improvement, they will say so um, in a rather mitigated uh, way. And this is why this, uh, we managed to get this study through uh, is something extraordinary. Well, we had this uh, attitude of expectations. No one knew exactly what was going to happen. And I can say Bionex Medical, really, we were praying to make everything go well. And it turned out to be successful. Well, I would like to express my gratitude for your attention at this point of time.